and welcome back. It's me, Shwebby. A little welcome to the Heron the Wall Redo. This is a short little horror game that I found on Itch.io made by one of my favorite developers. So we're gonna check it out. We're gonna play it. Cause I don't remember if I've seen this one. Probably have. Day one. You just moved in. New house, new job, new life. Been there, done that multiple times in my life. I don't recall ever finding hairs in the walls, though. While you were putting up some shelves down in the basement, you noticed something odd. A hair in the wall. Now, was this just like a mason worker or something? And like, maybe it just kind of got caught in the cement as they were putting stuff up? Ew. That is very strange. I have actually gotten my hair caught on like brick wall. It First of all, it's very unpleasant because somehow it manages to grab like one single hair and yank it out. Is that what this is? It's gone. You pulled it off. Now let's go to bed. Yay, day two. Mr. Mayor, the neighbors have come to welcome you. Let's pour some wine. Maybe I'm just not that fancy. I've never poured wine for neighbors. It's generally chatting them up going, hi, how are you? If you hear loud sounds during the day, don't worry. I'm fine. It's normal. Trust me. Maybe there's still a bottle in the basement. Why do we keep going down to the basement? I don't like going into my basement. And this time it's a long air hair. Why would you put shelves where you found the hair before? Nothing about that is normal. Let's just leave the, the hair. Goodbye. It's there again. You know you want to. Go on. Pull it off. I kind of don't. Uh, can I just... I don't want to, though. Uh, that's that's going to be bad, ain't it? Last night was rough. You didn't get any sleep. That is my every night. Nothing about that changes. It's got nothing to do with hairs on walls. Why was that hair still there? It's not that it was still there. Another one formed. We have a very hairy wool. That's all it is. You're pretty sure you pulled it off the day before. We could just have large rats. All right, we could have a rodent problem. You don't know. I would not lose sleep over a hair being on the wall. I would say by like day three or four, if I saw one, I'd probably go and like call Ghostbusters or something or have somebody like check because that's weird. Now, there's no time to think about it. You have to go to work and you're going, you're getting late. I'm going to be late. Oh, I work at a, an office desk. That's great. Typey, typey, type, click, type, what, what, what? Eh, ah. There's webcams in my basement! You saw it, didn't you? No, I refuse to see things and such. You haven't been back down the basement since the day of the welcome party. What if it's there again? What's it? It's a hair! What's it gonna do to me? Eat me? The worst it can do is I eat it, it gets stuck in my system, and then I can't poop right for a while. In that case, better be sure to end this once and for all. Let's scrape it off? With what? A butter knife? Really? What's well, a butter knife? It's a hair. What's a we scrape off what? Down the basement, one last time. And it's the same length. Wasn't the first one shorter? Mm, what? Why is it not? <laughs> okay. I don't know why that scared me. It's no use. It doesn't want to come off. Oh. But you plucked it out! You plucked it out three times already! And this time you're telling me a butter knife is doing nothing? Oh, I work in a warehouse. That's awesome. You're in a hardware store. You don't recall if you slept, eaten, or went to work over a hair. You know what? Get the flamethrower. This hair will not be the cause of me losing sleep. Everything else in life will be, alright? All you know is that you gotta get rid of that hair on the wall. And for that, you need a powerful tool. Let's go for the most expensive one. Flamethrower. 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 Ooh. Most expensive? What happens if I mess up? What if I pick the wrong one? What if I buy all of them? That would be amazing. What is this? Isn't That's a jackhammer, ain't it? They're all different forms of jackhammers. Minus this. No, that's not a jackhammer. What is that? I don't know. Get this. Ooh. Let's hope this will solve your problem. All of your problems. You know, a jackhammer could probably solve a lot of my problems. Crippling debt. 
depression, wondering if I'm going to have, like, breakfast first thing in the morning. Absolutely. <laughs> oh. Mm. I don't want to know anymore. Nope. There seems to be a room behind the wall. You need some light to take a better look. Do I need to get the police involved over a hair? In the sh shoot, I don't even know if I would want to be nosy about the wall. You left your trusty flashlight upstairs. Let's go and get it. I've never heard of having an untrusty flashlight. It's like as soon as you get down into the dark depths of somewhere, it just magically turns off and laughs at you like, ha 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 ha, no light for you. Is that what happens? The truth is near. Wait. Wait a minute. How would you... The wall is fixed and there's no hair. Let's go back upstairs. We don't need to do the things of such. There's nothing. Why would it... There was a hole there. Now it's gone. Aha. Uh -huh. Leave it alone then. Don't even worry about it. We didn't see anything. You had the best sleep of your entire life. Because the hair's not there. It's not real. It's a figmentation of your imagination. The hair is vanished. It's improper grammar, but whatever. The hole was never there. Ha ha! You are safe now. Finally. What? What? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. Oh, no. 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 Ah! Hmm. Can we just leave it here? I really don't care. Maybe we could get some scissors and chop it off, and if it continues to grow, just keep collecting the hairs and make a wig for some person that wants a wig. Hmm. Ah! I hate alarms. I hate. Ah, no, I didn't get to. I didn't get to read it. Maybe, I think it said something, it's a journey, and maybe it's back. And we're not going to go and look. We're going to be the smart person and not let this now bleeding wall hair ruin our chances of sleep. Insanity. Don't leave your bed. Then stay in the bed. There's no question. Don't go down there. Get your ass back in the bed. Why are we down here? Wait, how, why are the shelves gone? What happened there? Why are the shelves? Why are the shelvies gone? Oh, don't touch it. Why is everything red? Do, are we in a submarine? Do we have emergency lights on? Yeah. Um. What? What the heck? Wait, there's a light in there. Hello there? Oh. Oh, hell no. Get out. Wait, everything's upside down, ain't it? Those those are not standing lamps. Uh, 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 uh. <gasps> lamps are gone. Oh, shit. There's a, oh, there's a face. I only just saw the thing. <laughs> it had hair. You never move from your old house. You're still stuck with your old job and you're still living your old life. Can you hear me? Are you still listening to this voice? Does it came from the basement or is it just in your mind? Did you really thought you could actually pull it off? That's funny, but don't worry. I'll keep telling you this story over and over. Why? Because I'm your dead wife and I'll never forgive you for what you did seven days ago. Oh! Thank you for playing. Thanks for scarring me for the rest of my life, Andrea. What? What? Okay. Oh, this. Oh, oh, this. Oi, who? There's. Uh, hang on. Um, I have. A, I have that itchy in my eye. Isn't this kind of based off an Edgar Allan Poe thing? Something to do with this guy in. Uh, uh not Telltale Heart. It's another one. It's something to do with his wife, and she got buried or something, and. Is it kind of based off that? Because it kind of also reminds me of that. A little bit of Telltale Heart. And then the black cat, which is something to do with the cat in the wall. But there was a wife that was also buried and stuff. And yeah. That's what that is, kind of relates to me and the weird stuff and such. And oh, this was very interesting and trippy. I liked it. 
I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you all are extra freaked out and enjoyed, you know, the weirdness of it, I guess. <laughs> but thank you all so much for watching. If you guys loved it, don't forget to hit that like button because then I'll subscribe and join us your spider place today. Let's hear them. Don't go picking the hairs off your walls. Battle cries. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Now I'll see you guys in the next episode.